Hey, what's up friends? Hope all of you guys are having a fantastic morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you're at. If you're enjoying this in the morning, as I always say, make sure you're sipping down on a nice cup of black coffee. <sighs> Nothing beats it. Anyway, hope you guys are making the most out of this time, especially this year. It's been a very unique year in so many aspects. But one of the things I want to focus on right now is the positives of November. It's been a very awesome month, I'm not going to lie. Probably the most colorful fall month I've ever seen in a long time here. And probably a record year for high temperatures, right? 60s and 70s during the day, during November. What? Crazy, right? It's a great time. Been taking advantage of it, been getting out, being productive, mowing the lawn, mulching up the leaves, getting those leaf cleanups in there, trimming the bushes, winterizing the sprinklers, and heck, even getting my Christmas lights up earlier this year. That never happens. That never happens. I gotta say, I'm very, very pleased. I was up on my roof putting my Christmas lights up with 60 degree weather in short sleeves. These days, my friends, are the days to cherish and make the most out of. And that's kind of the point I want to make here. Because going into the month of November, for most of us folks that live here in the Midwest, we have to deal with the struggles of winter dormancy and not being able to get out in your lawn for a while. It can be quite tough on you. The days are getting shorter, the temperatures are getting cooler, and the amount of sunlight is decreasing by the day. And because of that, it's a very easy time to get lazy, to get tired, to not want to do anything, to really lack the motivation to figure out how you're going to be better in the next season, right? And that's really another point I want to make here, and that is the fact that if you catch yourself in that trap, it's a good idea to keep busy, right? Look at this as a time to take a little break from the lawn, maybe find some hobbies that you like, maybe occupy your mind a little bit, so that when next season comes around, your passion for your lawn is tenfold what it was this year, and because of that, the results are going to be tenfold of what it was last year. So, that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video.